Yo, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I, as a solo and a free to play player, got to Masters with a 64% win rate in Pokemon Unite. It was quite the achievement since every, basically everyone I see playing the game um, who reach Master rank are normally in a full stack. And um, I really did. And I want to show you guys how it is possible, and it's actually not that hard at all. So, um, for starters, we're going to be playing mainly Cinder Ace and, um, and Ninetales, which obviously are the best uh, Pokemon for carrying since they are ranged attackers. Cinder Ace is going to be your main, uh, your main character. You're going to be using Muscle Band, Scope Lance, and the last one may actually be any item. Uh, those two are just because I suppose you get those two for free. Um, and uh, the last one can be a leftover if you that you also get for free in items you don't need to spend, you need to spend a thousand uh, AM coins for it. And um, this is basically the level I had them. Not basically, this is actually the level I did have them when I was playing in, in during my grind, during my 150 games to get to master. Uh, I did get muscle band to level 20 and those two at 10. The most important thing is to get every single item uh, that you own. 10, which you need like roughly a hundred uh, of the golden coins to get it. So it's not quite, it's not hard at all. It's like it's actually quite simple to do it. Um, we for nine tails, we're going to be for nine tails, we're going to be using the special items. Uh, remember, Pokemon do have differences in attack and special attacks. You can get, you can get a list too. Uh, look at it quite easily. So uh, for nine tails, we use wise glasses, shell bell, and now I'm using buddy barrier. But um, during my grind, I was mainly using um, leftovers, actually, because I didn't really have anything else to put. Not that old shower, muscle band, because um, the attack speed is actually quite nice for nine Um Builds we're going to be doing for both uh, characters. For um, nine tails, we are going to be using Aurora Veil and um, and that's the game. And uh, for so you're gonna be leveling um, Dazzling Gleam, always Dazzling Gleam, Avalanche is not worth it and uh, always or Veil because um, it's a buff for the whole team, for yourself, for the whole team and um, it's actually quite the stacking of the, the passive you're gonna be able to freeze like, about 3 people if you use or Veil and if you level Blizzard like it's basically useless and um, when using Cinderace, we're going to be leveling First, Blaze Kick, of course, never fireball. Blaze Kick is an insane skill, it's like a huge chunk, and uh, it throws you backwards, throws one car, and it's a great disengage and engage too. And uh, obviously, Faint. Faint is actually the best skill in the game. Uh, you get a steroid and you get to dodge uh, major skills. So, the main things you're going to be dodging when playing solo, you're going to be playing against lots of Zerars and lots of Gengars. So, you're going to be dodging Gengar Hexes, and you're going to be dodging. Uh, Zero are ultis. Yes, you can dodge those. And you're also going to be dodging um, Cinderace ultis. Remember, Faint is actually quite, has actually a lot of five frames. So um, uh, you can use it like a lot uh, before you're getting hit with a skill. You don't really need to use it as soon as it hits you. Like frame four frames are going to hit you. You have a, I think, one second of vulnerability or one second of base. I think it's actually close to two seconds. I think it's bugged. But um, yeah, it's a pretty OP skill. Those are the builds we're going to be using for both of these characters. And the eyes are going to be using as we went through. Um, we do have um, a quick, uh, we'll give you guys a quick showing of how you're going to be doing the early game for these characters. So I'm, I'm going to do a solo and uh, I'm going to play Cinder Ace first. Um, remember, when you're playing the. You can play Cinder Ace with both jungle and. Try to go bottom lane instead of top lane, because uh, you being closer to Red Null is actually really good. As Nine Tails, you can go top lane if you already have a Cinder Ace in the team, but um, if you don't, it's, it's really good for the ranged attacker to be close to the Red Null. Remembering, Red Null is the main objective of the early, early to mid game. Uh, Rotom is good for the 20 and possibly 40 points, and even more if you can. Get to, if you can get to the 40, uh, it's quite likely that you're going to be able to score a lot more. But um, the XP is the, the XP for Roto, for Dreadnought is actually quite superior because it's going to be above for the whole team. Um, you can come back from points if you have more stats, 
But uh, it's going to be really hard to fight Zapdos if you don't have the stats. So we're going to be leveling low sweep. We're going to be hitting the dog first. And um, you don't hit the... Your laners is uh, A-Pounds, because if you do, you're going to be stealing XP from the from the supporter, either the supporter or the defender, it doesn't really matter which one they choose. Um, so we're going to be farming uh, our jungle, we're going to be first doing a full clear. Always do a full clear, don't try to gank a Scorbunny, um, only if like, it's like, really obvious that's going to work, but um, avoid it max, because Scorbunny is really squishy and deals like minimal amount of damage, it's gonna be really hard to make something work, um, so we're gonna be doing this, and uh, as soon as you get level 5, you kind of have a couple of choices, so you can either gank top, uh, if it is in a like position, um, if they are contexting buffs and stuff, you can context it too, uh, if you get kills, you can dunk, which is really nice, and uh, you can get a couple more XP, if it, the, the gank doesn't work, you can either go to bottom lane, or uh, you can stay here until B spawn, as soon as B spawn, I, whenever the top or bottom lane, you're going to, to fight B. You have to be on one of them. Uh, you can't just let Bs go to ways and uh, let your team farm freely. You farm Bs in whatever lane you are, and um, as soon as you're done with them, you're going to be heading to the middle lane to get the core fish that are there. So, um, you're gonna get, especially your core fish, um, if your opponent is on the map, if you can see the opponent jungle on the map, you can steal his and uh, bank up on the, on the extra XP you're gonna have, but um, that's quite unlikely, um, and uh, if you can't see him, um, don't do it, because you're gonna be spending your cooldowns on buffs, because otherwise you're not gonna have a lot of speed doing it, and um, you're not gonna be able to fight if you don't have cooldowns. So as soon as they go back to your jungle, you, you don't want your jungle to be up, without you doing it during the early game, this is the main thing about Cinder Ace, which people do uh, wrong a lot, they like to get level 7 and then spam gank and then suddenly they're behind an XP from another jungler, and uh, that's why it happens, you should go back to your jungle, do it as fast as possible, get faint, you can use faint in the jungle if you know that your opponent not, is not coming here, and um, now you again, your full life if you didn't have major concerns during the, the ganks, and uh, you can go have again, uh, bees might respawn super niche, and uh, again, you look at bottom lane, you see there's something to do, if there is not, uh, you can help with bees real quick here, and you're gonna be level 9, it's quite important, as you can see, we're level 9 before uh, 7 minutes, which is when Dreadnought and uh, and Roton spawn, and this is not just because I'm playing solo, like this is basically gonna happen every game, Normally in games you're gonna get kills, so it's gonna be even a lot faster. But at level nine, you want to be going, coming down here and uh, fighting the Dreadnought with your team. Uh, here you can use your ulti. Let's suppose a team fight occurs here, and uh, I use my ulti to fight. It's totally normal to spend your ulti on objectives. Actually, you don't want to spend your ulti if there's no objective on the map. So if there's no Zapdos, there's no Dreadnought, no Rodon. You don't want to use our ulti. And as soon as you do it, you check the map. Um, if they answer on Rotom on top side, you can uh, make a push here and uh, try to kill the, the opponents to dunk your points so that you don't walk around with 40 points for, for a while and be one of the guys that score zero at the end of the game. Um, and, uh, that's pretty much it for the early game. This is actually a um, recipe for early game. You can do this basically every game. And um, as soon as you're done, you can go up to Rodon and, well, you just do this. You do Rodon, do your camps, as soon as Redmo spawns, go there. Um, you're going to be farming and doing objectives throughout the game. This is the main goal of the game. Like, don't be looking for kills since dying doesn't really put your opponents far behind. Camps are what are important in this game. And as far as Zapdos, Zapdos is a comeback mechanic and it's intended to be so by the developers of the game. So, um, you don't do Zapdos if you have a huge lead. As soon as announced that there are two minutes left and um, uh, you have a huge lead or you have a lead or you have a good lead, um, never, never, ever start Zapdos and go for a 50-50 on it. You should be lurking in some bushes like over here or over there and uh, be trying to catch them off guard when they are trying to go to Zapdos because they have to walk into you. And uh, walking into opponents, walking into slow bros, walking into Snorlaxes is quite hard in this game. The defenders are really strong. And it becomes quite easier for you to play as in the race when the opponents are walking into you. So, that's basically how I got to Masters. I played smart, 
and uh, I adapted knowledge from other MOBAs to the game. I hope this helps you, your honor grind. If you have any doubts, uh, you can send it to me down below in the comments after I'm answering every question. And thanks for watching. Good grind for you guys.